Greetings, today I'm going to be showing you how to complete Fia's quest and how to get an alternate ending in Elden Ring by restoring the Elden Ring. This of course contains major spoilers. So the first step we need to do is acquire the Dectus Medallion. The left half is located in a place called Fort Height. The chest can be reached by climbing the up ladder in the tallest tower of the fort. The right half is located in Fort Fareth in Dragon Barrow. It is found atop the eastern tower, accessible via ladder past the bats in the bottom level. Once you have reached Altus Plateau, either through the lift or through the caves, you can return to Fia to gain an additional line of dialogue. Let her hug you and acquire the dagger. My dear, might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back, if you wouldn't mind. Talking to D in the round table hall will allow you to give it to him, triggering the next part of the quest. Well, what have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Did you need something? Resetting the area by just simply sitting at the round table or passing some time will trigger an event where you'll see Fia on top of Dee's corpse and she will have something else to say. Finally. It is returned to its rightful place, the stolen Hallowbrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well, though I ask you deliver this message to the round table hold. I am Via, deathbed companion, hark round table. Disturb not the death of Godwin, the exalted. We, who humbly live in death, live in waiting, to one day welcome our Lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our Lord will rise, the Lord of the many and the meek. At this point in the game, you have to travel to Rani's Rise and initiate her questline by talking to her in her tower. Accept what she has to propose you and talk to Without the NPCs. My service. I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago. There is in my service a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the eternal city. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. And then after you've talked to the NPCs, go back to Rani's tower and speak to her and accept her quest. She will fall oh. into a deep slumber. Allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise.
After Rani falls asleep, you'll have to defeat Star Scourge Radan at the bottom right of the map in Kaelid. After you've done that, travel to the Mistwood Ruins here on the map and make your way into the meteorite hole in the ground, I guess you can call it. Uh, this is going to be some sped up footage of me getting there, but feel free to use the timestamps down below to skip to the next part if you already know how to get there. After we reach this checkpoint called the Ancestral Woods, remember this, we are going to take a little detour. So we're going to go this way, this is more sped up footage, and we are looking for some jellyfish. After we see some jellyfish, we're going to take a hidden path, which actually leads us to a necessary part of this quest. There is a little ledge here and a side of grace next to some more jellyfish. Make sure to set your checkpoint here and do the boss fight in this area. It will be the gargoyle boss fight. Now if you wish to get Fia's clothes or armor set, make sure to give the NPC before the fog wall the armor that you got from Dee's death. After the Valiant Gargoyle boss fight, you'll be able to enter the boss arena and next to the side of grace, there'll be a coffin that you need to jump in. It will teleport you to the next area. Now this is some more sped up footage of the actual pathway that you have to take to get to the next area. So please make sure to pay close attention. Once we reach the very top of the roots, there'll be a site of grace. Now remember this place because you're going to have to come back later on. 
Once you reach the top, there'll be a boss gate. Make sure to defeat the Fia's champions and talk to Fia. After you've done all of that, we need to get back to the Ancestral Woods side of Grace. Now this is a very important place, do not miss it, I hope you remember. But yeah, so this is going to be some more sped up footage of this entire area, feel free to use the timestamps down below if you already run through this. Uh, but we need to acquire something for Rani, the hidden treasure that she asked us to acquire for her. After we've defeated everyone, we can make our way up the stairs and there will be a very precious chest that we need to open. Acquire the Finger Slayer blade and return to Rani and talk to her. It was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave... I shall entrust thee with this. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. Upon the dark path, only I may tread. After she gives us the statue, we need to travel to the study hall entrance, the Carrion study hall, and we need to insert the statue on the pedestal so we can proceed through the area.
Now be very careful in this area, everything will be upside down. I will leave you to the gameplay, so please, again, consider using the timestamps down below if you wish to skip to the next step. After we make it back outside, there will be a mini boss waiting for us. Take him out, he shouldn't be too difficult for you at this point, hopefully. And uh, proceed to the top of the, the tower, the divine tower. Make your way past the Lost Grace and you'll be able to find Rani's real body and acquire the Curse Mark. After all of that, we need to return to the FIA NPC at the Across the Roots side of Grace, and we need to give her the curse mark of death. This is the other Hallowbrand. How did you... Oh, my utmost thanks. With this, Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead and claim a second illustrious life you are my our true champion and though i can't be of any use to you can i hold you tight if only for a moment i will soon lay with godwin and it will surely stir within me the new life of the Golden Prince, and first dead of the demigods, as the rune of those who live in death. Please, do one thing for me. Brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming our Elden Lord. After she's done talking, just reset the area and walk back to her, and she will have something else to say. Bye, my dear. But 
I am satisfied. I choose to lie with Godwin of my own will. Not the remains of one chosen for me. And I will bear a child who will inherit your warmth too. What greater blessing could there be but to be born a deathbed companion? Reset the area and pass some time. And you can actually interact with her now. This will start a boss fight. Make sure you're prepared. This is going to be a difficult one. After the dragon is defeated, you can interact with Fia once again and acquire an item. This is the item that you need to have in your inventory to acquire the final and alternate ending. Reset the area and if you gave these twin the armor set, he'll be standing next to Fia's body. Take a good long look. See the wrath of the Golden Order. The Order's justice writ in blood. This is what's become of your precious witch. Naught but expired meat and bone. This is a proper death, oh prince. Look at this rotten hole. No more children can be got from this useless flesh. Behold. Your mother is dead. <laughs> this is revenge, you witch. And you, you ghoul. This is the wrath of D. Ah, hello. The rotten witch is dead. The Golden Order unsullied. Now I can look my brother Darien in the eye. Honeyed rays of gold deliver my spirit. Darien, now I have no regrets. Honeyed rays of gold deliver my spirit. Darien, now I am. This is how you acquire Fia's hood and Fia's clothes. This is the end of Fia's questline.
reset the area, and you'll be able to acquire the armor set, the twinned armor set, and the inseparable sword. Thank you so much for watching. This video took an insane amount of time and effort to produce, so please consider leaving a like and subscribing, and uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you still need help, and I'll do my best to try and help you. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.